Hello, fam. Hello, friends and family. Are you fucking ready? No? Understandable. Wow. I appear in the corner of your screen, ready to start. Ready for 15 minutes section of Luigi's Mansion, probably. I wouldn't even be surprised. Let's be real. That's what's gonna happen, isn't it? Nothing in the final house would just be like, <laughs> two on Switch or something? Ugh. Ugh, I wouldn't even like that, man. It's like, I might have made this song too loud. Tekken 8 on Switch, mostly expecting ports. Hey, look, I'm okay with ports if it's GameCube games that have been lost to time, okay? I'd be happy with that. <laughs> Let's go. Also, this song rules. Hyrule Warriors had a great soundtrack. Garchin of Fan Fan. I don't even know what that is. I've heard people talking about it, but like, what the fuck is Garchin of Fan Fan? And why have I only never heard of it? What the fuck is this? I don't wanna... I don't even care. Acknowledging GameCube games, though? Hey, they... We, we got an HD remaster of Bait and Kaitos, and we just got a re-release of Thousand Year Door, Satoya. They're on a good track record so far. <laughs> it's me, may you switch over to me, Megwin. <laughs> Metroid, I would want a Prime 2 remaster. Prime 2 remaster, I think, is one of my biggest checklists for today, potentially. 110%. I would be so happy being only a step above an asset flip. Wow. Well, at least it's a step above one, right? Yeah. Prime 2 or Xenoblade X. I'm excited, though. I'm hoping it's good. Let's see. We will be excited. We will consume product. Let chat. Let us consume and engage in capitalism as we consume product together. Let us consume all the product. <laughs> Yo, Kid Icarus remake would be so hype. This is live, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Doubt that has changed by now? Yeah, I doubt it, but we'll see. Hi, Sage. Are we all ready? All right, let's turn the music off so that we don't miss anything. All right, I'm fucking ready. Hi, Vulp. How are you? How's everybody? We're st it's two minutes till beginning. Good morning, JP. Not a long stream today. We're just reacting to the direct, and then I'm ending. Reminder, I'm not streaming tonight. I'm going out for dinner with my family. So no stream tonight. Uh, there'll be more Shin Megami Tensei tomorrow. For anyone who cares about Shin Megami Tensei. Now it's the new Animal Crossing. Copium. So hyped for it. I'm so hyped for whatever Nintendo has in store. Whatever they have, I'm sure it'll be fun. Nintendo's pretty good at things that are fun. I like things that are fun, and Nintendo does a good job at making things that are fun. If it's not fun, then why bother? Exactly. Time zones suck. Yes, yeah, Satoya, don't worry. I know. Not much I could do about it when I work a full-time job. Hi, Shaman. Yo, one minute till begin. Don't be late, YouTube. I'm on the YouTube stream right now. Nintendo. 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 Oh, the sun is still outside my window. Now you can blame Nintendo for that one. Got my clown makeup. Gotta put my clown makeup on for the Silk Song news. Bite him. Do not bite me. It's already streaming on the Twitch one. Really? Ah, fuck. Should I have been on the Twitch one? 
I got an idea. We'll put it to two times playback speed to catch it up. Okay. Oh, starting off with something Mario. That's pretty hype. Wait, what is this? Wait, what the fuck is this? Wait, hold up. The art style is incredible. What is this? Looks like Mario. Don't give me hype noise. If it's a new Mario and Luigi game, holy shit. Holy fuck, what if it is? Hey, thank you for the resub. It is! Oh my fucking gosh! No fucking way! Oh my fucking god! Bro! Holy fuck! They're starting off with a banger and it looks good! Put yourselves in the parts I don't. Holy fuck, bro, it's back. Of course I've gotta play this game. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> Excellent, it's got like classic bros attacks. Oh my gosh, this looks so fucking good, dude. Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh. I'm already- I cannot believe that they've managed to get me excited already. Holy shit, dude. Starlow is gone. That's what's important, chat. Ooh, that looks like an interesting villain. Okay, I'm fucking in, bro. Mario and Luigi Brothership. And it's this year, bro. Ah! Hello, everyone. I'm Shinya Takahashi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. Oh my gosh. That was the first new entry in the Mario and Luigi series in almost nine years. Damn, it's been nine Luigi fucking years. I love the animations, dude. The art style looks so good in 3D. Across mysterious islands, as well as evolved bros moves with Mario and Luigi. Yeah, this is a fucking day one buy for me. Holy okay. shit. Let's see the first batch of headlines. Holy fuck. That is one fucking hell of a way to start a direct. Championships home or on the go. That is a hell of a way. The Nintendo World Championships is yeah, I wonder who's making it too. It looks like they've nailed it so far. Take on over 150 speed running challenges from across 13 NES games. From lightning fast beats to action packed battles. Action packed battles. Yeah, I don't care about this. <laughs> yeah. Familiarize yourself with each challenge and perfect your timing. I do not then care about this. Best shot and aim for the top of the online leaderboards. That's right, content copium. Legend challenges. Like completing Super Mario Bros. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't care. That's it for today, folks. We got Mario and Luigi. I'm out. I'm done. I got, I got what I needed. I'm done. I already got more than I expected. I'm out. I'm out. I'm calling it here. Quit while we're ahead. <laughs> Quit while we're ahead. I got what I wanted. Where you'll race against ghost data of players worldwide. After each round, half of the players... Sabrio, thank you for the resub. How ya? shot to survive. Will you be the last one standing? Mercury stream has been quiet for a while. Stop. Let's wait. Let's just no wait. Let's just watch and enjoy what happens. Okay. Let's just watch and enjoy. Okay. Containing a physical version of the game and other bonus items is also available for pre-order. The final battle of Fairy Tale is about to begin. Who fucking cares about Fairy Tale? I'm gonna be real. <laughs> I used to watch this cringe, right? I do not RPG. fucking care about Fairy Tale, bro. He <laughs> stops your head ago. Hey, Malvarian, how are you doing today? So I'm watching both. Thank you. Unleash powerful attacks that fuse different I appreciate you being here. Based on who's in your party. 
Work together with your team. No, I am not going to play this game. Enemies. But it has tail in the nade. I know, right? Nah, thanks. Fairy Tale 2 launches on Nintendo Switch this winter. Yeah, uh, don't fucking care. Don't fucking care. Embark on a multi-dimensional journey. What? From Final Fantasy series creator Hironobu Sakaguchi. Wait, what? And composer Nobuo Uematsu comes the turn-based RPG Fantasian. Oh wait, isn't this that the game that made slowly being robbed of its civilization? With like where it they they, took, they made like physical stuff to take Leo pictures. Must confront an evil entity threatening all mankind. Like I remember this art style of this game being really interesting because of that. Skills are the yeah, like look at the environments. Battles. Like those look like those are like real pictures. Multiple enemies at once. Yeah, I thought it was there for a moment too. <laughs> you can also send enemies you've encountered to a separate dimension and fight them later. The more enemies there are, the more you can wipe out in one shot. Eh, uh, this looks just okay though. Let them go. Now, let us save the world together. Yeah, this was on Apple Arcade, I believe. What, are people, what is the Neo Dimension, what is the general is opinion on this game? Switch, this holiday. I've got too many games this holiday to play, so I don't think I can fit that one in. Another sport is coming to Spoko Square. Um, don't care. Oh my gosh, they're adding basketball. The only thing basketball I know about this is game is that it has furries for some reason. The Nintendo Switch sports <laughs> games. It has a squirrel for some reason. Dribble, Which I mean, pass, sure. <laughs> and shoot. In two on two matches using motion controls. I care so much. I care so much, chat. And score as many I am as in such a caring mood right now. Up to four players can also compete in five streak battle. Besides local players, you lost you most of your stay now. Look, they started with a banger. They're allowed to have some mid stuff. They're allowed to have some mid stuff. Now this is an update, free update a free update Switch for the one that already exists, MRL. I don't need you to say exclamation point skip for every single one. What is this? I like the art style. What is this? What is this? This looks kind of neat. Oh, this looks interesting. Okay, hold up. I'm actually... Hmm. Is this Silk Song? <laughs> This is Silk Song. Silk Song at home. Mio. Memories in orbit. It's an array of cartoon classics. Cartoon classics? Leap into a new oh. update for Disney Illusion Island. Was this like okay? Marvel's greatest detective is solving a mystery, and only Mickey and friends can help. In the brand new adventure, Mystery and Monarch, uncover hints and evidence scattered throughout the world. Then use the dashboard to crack each case. It's a better idea than you're in. Secret lies at the end. Start sleuthing because this free update launches on Nintendo free update? Switch. Free update? I don't care. Today. I never played the original that game, so I just don't care. <gasps> Hello, kid. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Customize your character. Then befriend Hello Kitty. Finally, Curry's. Ah, oh, man. At what cost, though, Satoya? Open world adventure. Team up with your new pals. Dizzy Dumpy, that. Bill, Bill, why the fuck would you say these cursed things? Hello Kitty Island Adventure launches as a timed console exclusive on the Nintendo Switch system next year. I really don't give a shit, bro. Holy fuck.
Let's get Looney in what? this wacky sports game. <laughs> Looney Tunes Sports. Bunny, okay. Duck, Porky Pig, and more across four arcade style sports. Uh, when the game, when video games are good, Tabitha. Across iconic levels and up to four player local co-op. Eh. Watch I do not care. Falling and bills. Looney Tunes Wacky World of Sports crashes onto Nintendo Switch this fall. What's up, Doug? That's all, folks. Let's see if you Game on. Emergency meeting. <gasps> it's you Among Us! And imposter roles are being added to Among Us. Holy shit. Others when Among Us. Hi, Ty. Plant tracking devices on others as a tracker. Or turn invisible while taking out players as a phantom. E. Suss things out when this free update for Among Us sneaks onto Among Nintendo us. Switch later Among today. Us. I really don't care. Monster Army is at your command. Monster Army. This is Felicidad, a realm of monsters. Felicidad is, a, is certainly a title. Them are called Farmagia. And Farmagia. What the fuck are these words? They just wrote letters down. A Farmagia must rise up against the oppressive Magus to stop his vicious Oh, this could be cool. Hold up. Show me gameplay. Is this cool? Raise monsters and lead them into the fight against the Magus. What is this? Army. Pikmin Pokemon? Oh, there's farming. I'm out. <laughs> and harvest them to make your buddies come to life. You you farm creatures? They can then oh, what the fuck? The <laughs> okay, whatever. Sure. Give commands to your monsters. That dragon's kind of hot, though. Weaknesses in action-packed combat. Merge all of the battle buddies in your party to call forth a giant fusion summon and wreak havoc on your foes. Eh, not my thing, but it doesn't look bad. Join the rebellion to stop the Magus in Farmagia, launching on Nintendo Sounds Switch. Sounds like like out Pikmin. It's a Pikmin game in disguise. Donkey Kong! It's him! Donkey Kong Country Returns, originally released on the Wii system, is barreling onto Nintendo Switch. What? Why are they making the first one? Hey, darn hyena, how you doing today? Hypnotized the local wildlife and stolen Donkey Kong's precious banana hoard. Why are they re releasing the original one? Oh, hi, hi. Just stop him. That's interesting. I mean, I've heard this game's really good. Tropical Freeze is already on Switch. Fair enough. I've never played either of them, to be Each honest. Level is filled with but I've heard good things. No match for these top bananas. From manic mine carts. To I they rocket but I would have been more excited if it was a new one. I'm going to be blunt. And even hitching a ride on Rambi. It's okay, chat. We're only 13 minutes in. There's still 30 minutes left. It's okay to have a little Pass bit of a mid. Joy controller to a buddy for two-player local co-op. I don't have tropical freeze. Uh, so. Eighty appealing levels are in store, including the additional levels from the Nintendo 3DS. Version. It's not a new game. It's just uh, re-release. Donkey Kong Country Returns HD swings onto the Nintendo Switch system January 16th. I should get it? Maybe. They're going to leave off on a new Smash game? Absolutely not. One of Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong's jungle escapades returns in HD. Plenty of wild actions and antics are in store with Hey, Leskia, thank you so much for the follow. How are you doing today? Please take a look at this. Next, please take a look at this. I usually praise eat something interesting. Hold. What is this? Hold. Dragon Quest! I'm actually interested in this! <laughs> the hour of awakening draws near. Yo, it looks super pretty. They announced this a long time ago, and then we just... With allies. Am I going to play it? Maybe. The arch fiend on an epic adventure. I've heard good things about Dragon Quest 3. I've heard that it surprisingly New holds encounters. up. Dragon Quest 11 is so fucking good. Challenges. But I've heard that uh, Dragon Quest 3 holds up actually surprisingly world. well. HD 2D. 
It looks really pretty, not gonna lie. Forge your own path. The legacy begins. Wow. But yeah, Dragon Quest is a really nice series. It's very tropey, but it's allowed to be true tropey because it's the original. Switch, November 14th. All right, have a good one, MRL. Get well soon. Is it a good thing? Oh shit, yeah, I heard that. I think this got revealed that it's actually, it's actually, yeah, it's the original three, actually. Boom! That's kind of a bomb. <laughs> Sweet. Nintendo Direct, Page zero of its tropes. Exactly. Dragon Quest is allowed to be tropey because it invented a lot of them. <laughs> そして今日サプライズで発表したドロンクエスト1&2も8D2Dで読み上げることが決定しました Yeah, Dragon Quest is the pioneer of like the entire RPG series genre So it's a pretty influential series あと読み展開が待っています I'm not paying attention anymore Toriyama, rest in peace Toriyama May your legacy live on. Thank you, Mr. Hori. We hope you're excited to play the entire May his legacy live on, chat. HD 2D. Let's continue with more headlines. That was a pretty good announcement. What's next? Let's have some fun, Co. Goodbye. Say hello to Jaws? Wait. He-Man? Great Scott. Is that Muppy McFly? <laughs> the world of Funko is coming I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't even want to look at it. I, I, I pretend I do not see. With more than 60 characters, I am not looking. Locations based on over Goodbye, chat. Movies, TV shows, and more. Use special skills and crafted gadgets to explore epic worlds, each with their own unique puzzles, hidden areas, uh, and well, familiar foes. The, the sign of a good direct is bad parts. Not everything can be exciting. They're certainly not toying around. Unbox the universe. When Funko Fusion pops on the They're really trying to be Lego Star Wars. Well, it's failing. We've got a smorgasbord of spooky, a silly, smorgasbord? and strategic games. A smorgasbord? Ready for an adventure of ghoulish proportions? Luigi's Mansion 2. I'm probably not going to get this, I'm going to be honest. And explore multiple mansions filled with goofy ghosts. Claude Mungo Bob designs are so emotionless. I agree. Hi, Pearl, by the way. I don't know if you spoke earlier, but I don't usually... I know my stream time usually sucks for you, so it's good to see you again in live. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Meet the quirky little Dempa man. The hell is this? Catch him and lead him on a joyful RPG adventure. Wait, what the fuck is this? Explore dungeons and battle monsters. The hell? Customize all sorts of outfits. Decorate your island however you'd like. What am I looking at? Plus, up to four players in local they mean team up to catch special Dempa Man. The new Dempa Man is free to play and launches as a timed exclusive on Nintendo Switch, July 22nd. I don't care. Strategize away in this tower defense installment. Tower metal defense slug metal slug. Take control of your okay. forces and pulverize enemy strongholds. Choose from Weird. 300 units with different abilities and build out your decks to win tactical tussles. You can also smorgasbord. Yes, smorgasbord is a is a real world word. A smorgasbord. You don't need to ask if I'm gonna play everything. Later today. You'll find out when I find out. The answer is no, probably not. Embark on an expedition of the dam. Darkest dungeon on Switch. To the gothic roguelike RPG. Board your stagecoach and set off across a decaying landscape to prevent an apocalypse. 
fight off nightmarish fiends. In what are people? I heard some people don't like Darkest Dungeon 2 compared to the first one. Your abilities after each I've heard that it's just different though. I never played either of them. Dungeon 2 launches on Nintendo Switch July 15th. Pre-orders begin later today on Nintendo eShop. Eh, okay. More classic. <gasps> oh, this might way. be this might be interesting. Hold up, what are they adding? More swords, that's the classic 16-bit adventure and team up online to explore randomized dungeons in the Legend of Zelda, a link to the past four swords. Neat! <gasps> Zero mission! Remake of first this adventure. is one of the best Metroid, Metroid games! This is one of the best Metroid games. If you haven't played this, play Plus. it. Coming to the new Nintendo 64, Nintendo Switch Online Mature 17 Plus Collection of Games. <gasps> They're adding mature games. Oh shit, Turok. Brave the dangerous lost land to stop the campaigner's nefarious schemes in Turok, Dinosaur Hunter. Was Turok on N64 any good? And. And what? Infiltrate a corporation. Oh, that's a big deal, actually. In Perfect Dark. Now with online multiplayer. Oh, that's a. That's kind of a four games pretty neat thing to add. Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack members later today. Don't really think it holds up that well if you aren't used to old school game design. It makes sense. Sail to save the day. What is this? Why does the art style look like this guy? This is Verona, a young woman with the ability to communicate. Perfect with Dark Stream, probably not. I will take all of this girl. Join her on a journey to save her friend Ash. Hey, Darby Cipher, thank you so much for the follow. How are you doing today? In this new installment in the Phantom Brave series. I've never heard of Phantom Brave before. Why have I never heard of this series? It's like there's new entry in this Phantom Brave. Like, what the fuck is that? I've never heard of that before. You befriended with objects in various ways. I like that lizard design over there. Hi, Silver. Thanks for the lurk. To maneuver them. Combine with a cannon to attack a large area. A fan to blow eh. enemies around. Some of the enemy designs have nice tails. Combine with Morona herself for show-stopping abilities that can turn the tide of battle. But I wish the party members did. Phantom Brave, the Lost Hero, launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Okay. Next game, please. This one's gonna take I want to take you for a ride. For a ride. Marvel vs. Capcom acknowledged. Seven arcade games featuring Marvel and Capcom characters are fighting their way onto Nintendo Switch. As uh, I know some people are going to be freaking Clash out about this. Versus Street Fighter. <laughs> some Keep people are freaking out about this. Capcom 2, New Age of Heroes. Not me, take but some people are King definitely King freaking out. Side scroller, the Punisher, and more. That's pretty cool, though. Hit up training mode to polish your fighting skills and combos. Yeah, but what about Marvel 4? Select online mode to challenge Or Marvel 5, technically, I guess. Not that I care about Marvel. They have to be good ports, though. Yeah, they do. Or play co-op in the Punisher. You can also cross over to the museum to view artwork. Or listen to music. Give me some fire or you're gonna flush the toilet while you're in the shower, so Nintendo. Bad. Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting I wanna take you for a ride. Launches on Nintendo Switch this year. Let's see why that's looking at this after act. Mario! Wait, wait, wait. Mario Party! Hold! Mario Party, Mario. This game in the Mario Party series. No! Place on an enormous okay. island resort. It's a new Mario Party to game! Jump into the biggest selection of Mario Party minigames yet in Super Mario Party Jamboree. First, I'm in. See some of the new boards where you'll compete to collect the most stars. <laughs> I'm fucking in. Take the Give escalators me. to travel between floors in Rainbow Galleria. Oh my gosh, it's Coconut Use Mall. <laughs> coins to get a star at half price when they're on flash sale. I don't think it's a DLC. I think it's a new game. Cambry is one of the words. On track in Raceway. Oh, so these are some cool map designs. You can move up to 40 spaces with a lucky roll. Oh, I like these maps. These are some good map designs. We might be back, chat. And things really get mixed up when the volcano blows its top. Hi, Darby. Along with five new game boards, 
two boards from previous Mario Party games make their Ooh, return. Ooh, and they've got some old games maps too. So many games are action-packed challenges, speed trials, a battle of wits, I and more. And some are controlled by gently shaking or tilting your Joy-Con controllers. I might have to stream this. With over 110 mini games, there's a wide variety to enjoy. Also, up to 20 Darby, are you just here to advertise? Because if you are, I'm gonna have to ban you. Compete against your rivals. Do not advertise again. For first place. You sound like a bot. To come out on top. You followed me, so I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt. But for the most part, you are sounding like a bot. Never do that again. 100% a bot? Probably should ban it, yeah. Bot detected, probably should bot it. Yeah, no, I'm gonna bot. You're gone. You're gone, Darby. Never advertise. And a 20 player online gameplay and more. Get ready for 20 player online Party gameplay chat. History. Hopefully the netcode's good. And now that's a good odds. Take a look at this. That's a pretty exciting announcement. Zelda, hold up. We got some Zelda action. It looks like a remake. Is it a remake? Or is it a new game? Wait, hold up. This might be a new game. Good morning, Steveish. Wait, do you play a Zelda in this game? The Legend of Link. Hold up. What the? The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom? What the fuck? I'm sold. Hello, everyone. I'm A.G. Aonuma, producer of The Legend of Zelda Fuck yes, series. fuck yes, fuck yes, fuck yes, fuck yes, fuck well, yes, fuck yes, fuck the yes. installment, The Legend of Zelda, Echoes of Wisdom. Yes, yes, this yes. Down, yes. Link has vanished. Now, it's up to Princess Zelda to step into the protagonist role. You might be thinking, will Zelda fight with a sword then? Here, we wanted to create a new gameplay style. Yeah, this is so good, dude. Past Legend of Zelda games with a top-down perspective. This is so actually hype, bro. To explain more, please take a look at this video. I'm so ex- Oh my gosh, this is such a fucking banger direct, dude. <gasps> Holy shit. away. Across the vast lands of Hyrule. Strange rifts have appeared. I'm so hype, holy have fuck. Taken many people, including Link. Now alone, Zelda meets the fairy Tri, receives a mysterious staff called the Tri Rod, and sets off on a journey across Hyrule to save her kingdom. She's got a cool cloak. By waving the Tri Rod at a table she found, Zelda learned how to create an No, there's in Mario Party 2, Shaman. An echo. Once you learn an echo of something, you can recreate it whenever you'd like. Wait, what? Even if there's a wall blocking your path, you can Oh wait, hold up. This could be really cool. To get a leg up. Oh, this is cool. Just okay, like hold that. up. <laughs> you can create wooden boxes. Old beds, okay, hold up. The puzzle solving here is going to be crazy. Like water blocks. How you use them separately or together is entirely up to you. This looks neat. Learn and create echoes of things you find while exploring Hyrule. You might be surprised at what you discover. Holy shit, this looks interesting. This is like... <laughs> Even battles will look different. You could pick up and throw a rock echo, for example. That's not all, though. You could also create... All right, you could totally... Monsters. After doing so, oh. you'll fight by your side. This is Monsters interesting. Different abilities. This will definitely have major skips. to create based on the situation. Wisdom oh, this is, is neat. After all. 
Okay, this is cool. She fights completely differently. That's so cool. But at the same time, it's very like th like this feels like they're really trying to like play into the fact that she's the Triforce of Wisdom, and that's into how she fights. I am so sold, dude. I am so fucking sold. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration Holy of the Echo shit, of which channels Princess Zelda's wisdom. There are a lot of echoes in this game. To be honest, I haven't counted them all yet. How you oh, this is so cool. Battle enemies will change depending on the echoes used. In short, we've created a game where each player's experience will be different. Yeah, this is so neat. Legend of Zelda: Echoes of Wisdom. September 26. Bro, the that's too soon. Switch Lite system inspired by the Legend of Zelda series will also be available at launch. We hope you're looking forward to playing. Yeah, I'm Zelda so done. I'm so fucking adventure. sold on this direct, dude. Now, I'd like to return this moment I'd stolen away back to Mr. Takahashi. But like, this isn't even the big like reveal oh, of this direct, you, dude. Please look forward to the newest entry in the Legend of Zelda series. I'm so fucking hyped for that. Holy shit. I'm sure some people are freaking out about that. That is, I am. I'm freaking out. Let loose and party we had we, we had to follow the banger with something bad. We had to follow the banger with something bad. Like it, it's it's part of the way the world works. My presence to you. My finger. Uh, can we talk about that Zelda game some more? I want to talk about that Zelda game some more. Will they release it on the Wii still? That would be so fucking funny. I can dance. That's a I can I take resent that. I can dance. I promise. I'm a dancing machine. Adventure oh, wait, this was horizon. this was revealed. Uh, it's the world of Horizon in Lego. This was revealed on the uh, PlayStation the announced thing. To save the world from an ancient evil, journey through lush landscapes. Meh. Dive deep into the cauldrons, climb up onto tall necks, and traverse other locations inspired by the original game. But be careful, swarms of machines are lurking everywhere. Use an array of gadgets like blast boots and gravity bombs to hunt down. From the nimble watchers, it doesn't look like a bad game. It's just sawtooths. You might even come across the fearsome Thunderjaw. Not really As something progress, I care too much about. You can help about. Aloy rebuild her home and customize her appearance with lots of outfits. I haven't eaten anything today. Industry plant pro tag for real. <laughs> it does kind of feel like that at times. To be fair, this is not a play this is not a exclusive. It's on every console, I think. A stray's journey begins. Stray on Switch? I played this already. I streamed this game when I still had the Neuvern model. This, this game was streamed when I had the Neuvern model. That's how long ago it was. <laughs> Experience a decaying cyber city through the eyes. Surprised it wasn't on Switch before. I agree. Their family and friends. Explore alongside a drone known as B12 to find your way home. Well, there's only like five minutes left in this direct, so I wonder what they're gonna end on. To the highest heights. I mean, not gonna lie, Mario and Luigi and a new Zelda game and a new Mario Party game. That's already a trio of games that I'm pretty excited for. Think like a cat to make your way through the city. No, it should have been two years ago. I started streaming in 2022. Everyone is excited to have you slinking around, including hordes of hostile creatures ready to swarm. Keep exploring to venture into more. Honestly, Stray was a good game. Familiar world, and make your way back to safety. Stray finds its way onto Nintendo. Can't wait for the Ice Climber reboot. Yep. So two years. 
Welcome home, Hobbit. Fucking a Hobbit farming sim? Are you serious? Like I'm, out. From the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. Now, a leisurely existence nestled away in an idyllic, quiet corner of Middle Earth can be yours. Wow. Customize your appearance. Don't give a shit. And settle into life in the Shire. As a newcomer to the little haven of Bywater, you'll befriend your neighbors, work together to solve you move problems, to your new place. and even share a meal. It was a May May explore, of garden, fish, forage, and cook. Vault, what the, the fuck? Way to build a Hobbit community is by hosting a dinner party Vault, with what your the homemade dishes. Fuck do you? Plus, you can trade with your neighbors for unique decorations or special the ingredients fuck? for even Vault. tastier meals. Vault was on the same wavelength as me. And familiar the fuck, faces bro? Your arrival when Tales of the Shire launches on the Nintendo Switch system this holiday. Investigate, interrogate. No way, no way, no way, no way, no way. Objection. Are they localizing it? They are, including a sequel that was previously unreleased outside of Japan, are coming to Nintendo Switch as one. Ah! It's being localized. Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth. Holy shit! The courtroom and investigate crime scenes. Gather information. Investigations two is extremely good. It's extremely good. Oh my gosh, this is high. Hands-on character visuals from the original series character designer, or swap to the original sprites for a more classic look. Take a break from your investigation to explore the gallery, where you'll find character art, music, including orchestral arrangements, and Oh my fucking gosh, dude. I can't believe they're doing this. The truth. This, this, Ace Attorney Investigations 2 is so Ace good. Investigations Holy fuck, dude. They're finally localizing the it. It's real. <laughs> the hell is this? Why does it look like Danganronpa? I'm scared. Even the music sounds like it. What the fuck? The hell is this? After a devastating attack by unknown assailants, Takumi Samino's life gets turned upside down. Shine sponge off energy, yes. Mascot suddenly appears. While Takumi manages to get out of harm's way, he's then forced to enroll at the Last Defense Academy along with 15 other students. Oh my god, is this actually just straight up fucking Danganronpa? No, it's Danganronpa except with combat. Okay. Student enemies for 100 days. Turn-based Danganronpa. Why not? Shrouded in secrecy. And the unavoidable loss of allies. Can Takumi survive this 100-day trial, colored by extreme and despair, and return to his normal life? Okay, the I'm... Creators of Danganronpa present the 100 Line Last Defense Academy. That could be interesting. Nintendo Switch. I can, I, I, I'm, I'm at least intrigued. Embark on a saga spanning generations. Saga. I'm not too interested in Saga to myself. A full remake of Romancing Saga 2 is marching on to Nintendo Switch. I have no idea. Rule and expand the empire of Varen across multiple generations while challenging the legendary seven heroes who have turned to darkness. Darkness. In combat, use returning Saga features like glimmers to learn skills. Formations to enhance abilities. Okay. Battles have also evolved into timeline battles, where the action order is key. Innovative features. It doesn't look too bad. It doesn't. Can also help with strategy. Not at all. How will you expand your empire? And in which order will you fight the seven heroes? Every decision you make will dramatically alter the course of the story. Dramatically alter the course of the story. Safeguard your empire's future. Are you sure about that? Your legacy from peril. Otherwise, the vengeful seven heroes may emerge victorious. The hundred. 
I'm gonna throw that on my Saga list, I guess. Two, Revenge of the Seven launches on Nintendo Switch October 24th. I've never been, I've never played a rom romancing Saga game before, but it doesn't look bad. We hope you're excited to experience the full remake of Romancing Saga 2. That's almost everything for today's Nintendo Direct. Almost. Next will be our last announcement. Here it comes, the last announcement. What do you got for me? 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 What, what, what's the last announcement? Hold up. Oh! Me, 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 me. Don't, 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 Metroid, don't, don't fucking do this to me. Oh my, is this, don't, is this fucking, I'm not, I'm not getting excited until I see a fucking title card. Is this Prime 4? No way. No fucking way! I, I'm not gonna do that. No, no, this looks like it isn't. No fucking way. I, 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 this is fake. This is fake. This is fake. Chat, this is fake. This is fucking fake. This is fake. 100% fake. I'm sorry. This isn't real. This is a fake direct. I mean, it looks good. It looks like a Prime game. It's real! Oh, fucking hell, dude. Beyond. I need more. They actually showed it. It's real. It exists. Oh my gosh, that environment. That music, oh my, 2025, of fucking course. Not this year, but it's real, chat. It's real, it's real. <laughs> that was a first look at Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. My God, it's real. And after a very long time, we are finally able to share more information about this title. It's Unbelievable. Planned for 2025. So please wait a little bit longer. We hope you're <laughs> they get to cook the game as much as they need to, yes. Oh man, it looks good though. Oh my gosh. It's fucking real. Wow, okay, good fucking direct. Good fucking direct. A little upsetty that Prime 4 isn't until 2025, but I hope it's not too much like Prime 3. I hope it's more like Prime 1 and 2, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. It looks good. That trailer looked promising. It looked like prior. It looked like Metroid Prime, like, and that's all I need it to look like, you know? <laughs> I just want... I do want a Metroid Prime 2 remastered. That would be super fucking hype, but Metroid Prime 4 being real is going to cause the entire internet to blow up. Bro, you're fucking crying. It's real. It's been years, chat. It's been fucking years. It's It exists. It fucking exists and we got news. We didn't get Silk Song, but we got the other white whale. So who are we to complain, right? <laughs> who are we to complain? How long has it been? When did that game? That game first got announced in 2017, I think. It's been eight years. Seven or eight years. Retro watching the Metroid bit over again. A fucking course. Better than... Honestly, okay. So, it, here are the hype stuff that I found about that. Mario and Luigi Brotherhood. Uh. Dragon Quest 3 HD Remake. Uh. Looks good. Super Mario Party Jamboree. Uh. Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. Mmm. Uh. Ace Attorney Investigations finally being localized. Uh. Win. And fucking Metroid Prime 4. Hell yeah. Silk Song was not here. No. Why is Silk Song showing up there? <laughs> 
I'm pretty sure that that's the announcement trailer for six years, six or seven years ago. <laughs> I love how it's showing up here. <laughs> Damn that thumbnail. This is the announcement trailer from years ago. Holy fucking shit, though. What a direct. What a fucking direct, dude. That is one of the best directs they've had, to be quite honest. That is one of the best directs. They actually showed off Prime 4. And it looks good, too. I think what's important is that not only did they show off Prime 4, but it looks like a fucking Metroid Prime game. That's like, 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 like I was worried, like, what if they take it in, like, a radically new direction and all that? But nope, that shit looked like a Prime game. <laughs> that shit looked like a Prime game. And you're harming your arm. All right, so I'm gonna this week I'm gonna be working on a survey. This sur now that I've, we've got all the games that have been announced for the remainder of 2024, that game is gonna have basically a list of all the games that are releasing in 2024, and you guys are gonna vote on which ones you want to see me stream. Uh, I'm gonna have little tags to make it a little bit more obvious which ones are which, and it should be good. It should be good. It'll help you figure it out. It's not gonna be like. Oh, if this doesn't vote well, I'm not going to stream it. It's going to be more like, if I have two games competing with my time, I will choose the one with the more votes, is probably how it's going to work. That's how that's going to work, essentially. So basically, if there's like two games releasing at a very similar time frame, and I can only really play realistically one of them, I will choose the one with the more votes. Why would you redeem that? I'm ending stream. Bro, I'm ending the stream. But fine, I'll take my clothes off. For the ending of the stream. Alright, there. I stripped. Are you happy? <laughs> Do it again, naked. Let's watch the entire thing again, except this time naked. <laughs> Let's do it. Did you miss it? Yes, Imp. You missed it. <laughs> you missed it all. Well, thanks everybody for joining me. Once again, reminder, no stream tonight. Uh, we are, I'm going out for dinner. We're going to be resuming with, uh, we're going to be resuming Shin Megami Tensei 5 tomorrow. And then on Friday is the Elden Ring DLC. Elden Ring DLC. Elden, Belden, Big. Elden Ring. No, Ty, I got to get back to work. I, I specifically asked for an early lunch so that I could stream this. And my lunch break's going to be ending. So I got to go back to work. <laughs> No, I'm going out to a Japanese bar. Like, kind of like a... It's got, like, a bunch of... Like, it's an... It, what are they called? Um... An izakaya? I'm going to a Japanese izakaya. Tonight. So they got a bunch of different Japanese dishes and stuff. No, not a hibachi, an izakaya. Yep, some Japanese food. Anyway, thanks everybody for joining me for the Nintendo Direct. I'm probably going to have to go watch people freak out about Metroid Prime 4 now. So, and watch other people's reactions. So, thanks everybody. Really, really, really fucking good Direct. I will set up that survey. So, keep an eye. I'm going to be advertising the survey on my Discord later today. And it's going to include all of the games that were announced and all of the Directs that are releasing in 2024. No game releasing in 2025 is going to show up on this survey. We're going to be doing a survey at the end of the year around December. For 2025 games so just this is just for 2024 all right everybody i will see you all later keep an eye on the discord for the survey i'll be advertising it in my stream for the next month as well take care ciao